Hi gang, it's Brendan McRae from Mini Mania again, and today we're going to do an installation of an OEM armrest in an R60 Countryman. This is a 2012 model, and we're going to get right to it. Okay, in models that are equipped without the armrest, you have your rail system here. And the first step is going to be um, to slide back and expose the screws in this rubber pad that sits in between the rail. And then you're going to go ahead and remove it. And we're actually going to be attaching the bracket back here, um, the area right between the two front seats. There's going to be a metal bracket that goes in there. And then we're going to attach the armrest itself to that bracket. And then there is uh, two pieces of uh, black plastic that go to finish it off. We are now uh, at the back of the rail system here, uh -huh. and uh, we've got this little bit of a round cap that sits on there, and it take a screwdriver very carefully and pop it out, which will reveal more of the torque screws. And we're gonna take those three out as well. Are those 20s or are those 25s? Uh, they look like 20s. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go ahead and just put a little leverage on the left side and see what you can do. Well, maybe it needs to pull out for wide because it looks like there's a slot right here. So I think that side probably needs to go wide. Oh, I see what she's saying. Can you pull it out from the bottom? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Just Perfect. like that. Oh, okay, and here's oh, the bracket okay, I see exactly that you're replacing. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, and so that revealed the two rear mm -hmm. 25. 25 torxes, and we're going to get those out, those screws, and we should be able to slide the rail system out. Okay, what we've decided to do was actually to lift up um, the boot carrier and uh, your drink holder here. It's all one piece. In order to do that, you just take out the little rubber uh, parts that are at the bottom of the drink holders. There's two torque screws there. And then there was the one that that's holds it onto the back of the rail here. The rest of it is just basically held in by plastic clips. Just lift up on it. You don't have to take it all the way off. You don't need to remove your shifter knob. That gives you just enough room um, so that you can basically remove uh, the rail. Now you'll notice that these are the fiber optic electrical lines and they're connected underneath. They've got the requisite uh, female connector and male connector there. Be very careful with those. Uh, it's a flat wire type system, but there is a fiber optic uh, light that goes all the way down the center um, of the rails on either side. So you want to be careful to remove that. Once you get that out of the way, then we can work on the bracket back here. Okay, so now with the center rail removed, there are four bolts that hold the delete bracket, as it were. It comes if you get a R60 without your center armrest. You just need to undo those four nuts. 13 millimeter. 13 millimeter socket on there. Okay, so this is the one that we removed. This is the one that's going in. You can see that it's a little bit longer. Because I need to transfer the panel. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah, you have the 
pem nuts that need to be brought over to the back of this one as well. And then this one's got the other two mounting holes, of course, for the armrest. So this is the one that's going to go in. Hold that up. Slide this back down. Go here. Then it's just a question of reconnecting the electrical for the. Mm -hmm. There's one. Oh, I do not see that coming out right now. We'll have to. We'll have to double check that. Later on, make sure it holds good. Okay. Reconnecting the uh, fiber optic lights. Now that we've got that, we're going to very carefully take the flat wire and we're going to put it back underneath um, the cup holder slash, I don't know, shift boot receptacle or whatever you'd call it. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know. There you go. Okay, so we've got uh, two screws here that are going to go back in. They're Torx. Mm -hmm. There's one, and I believe that this is the other one. Right here. Put the rubber pads back at the bottom of the drink holders. Covers up the screw heads. There you go. That part's done. And now we're going to... We're going to put back the screws that we are go at the front of the rail. The other ones are going to be held in. That's actually going to hold the new armrest. Yeah. Of course, so. last little bit of trim that goes back on this is just this little just like this. bit of a ring that goes on the top. Just snaps right, the shifter place. housing. There you go. And it's good to go. Okay, cool. Now, one thing that you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to trim the rubber pad um, that sits in the rail, at the bottom of the rail, because in order to fit uh, the armrest, we've got to clear that little place back by uh, where Stephen's thumb is. So we're going to measure that, and uh, we're going to trim it. And then the last step is to put the... Um, armrest itself in. We can do that right now. So we cut out just enough to go right up to the edge of where the new bolts are located, cutting out about three inches or so. So we're just going to slide this guy in place up here. Length issue with the rubber there. Might have to cut out that little bit of a rubber. And these are again a T25. Yes. Torx 25. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. We'll do the other two and then we'll put the plastic on the, uh, to shroud the bottom of it. Okay, so then the final step, we're going to cover this up with these two uh, plastic pieces. You'll see that you have um, the shorter piece actually goes on the front this side, and the longer piece is towards the back. 
and they just snap into place and we'll show you how that's done. And you just sort of slide this in and there it goes. Put the, and then the rear piece just fits and snaps right into place and that covers it up real nicely. Okay, and so then the uh, last part, of course, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the trim piece on the back. Okay, what we're doing is we're using a, a piece of tape here to mask off this area right here, which you actually have to remove. Um, this is the bit that sits right at the rear. And when you don't have um, the factory armrest installed, this goes all the way down and sits inside the channel. These are the channels right here for the rails, and that's where they go through up at the top here. And then this whole area would sit in there, but this is actually taken up by the plastic piece um, that we're gonna be using now. So this actually has to be removed from this piece. So we're just gonna score it a few times um, with a, uh, you know, just like a regular hobby knife, and then we're gonna just try to break it off straight. Okay, so the shape that you're gonna to wanna to end up with kinda of looks a little like a teddy bear. So when you got the teddy bear shape, you know that you have it cut correctly, where it has kinda of like the little ears at the top. And you just need to, you don't need to put any sort of special profile, you just cut it straight across, and so that's kinda of the shape that you're looking for. And you'll see, this is the piece right here that we were actually trying to clear, uh, because this of course wasn't there when the armrest wasn't there, and that piece went all the way down into the channel and we had to make room for that. So now it's just a question of getting the piece to slap. There's two tabs on either side that it snaps into and it's got three screws that secure it. The screws that you removed from before. Over here, and it just snaps back into place. And that's all there is to the installation.